hello beautiful people how you all doing today you're welcome back to my channel my name is Ola Kumbi. if this is your first time of tuning in i say a very big welcome to you thanks for stopping by and if you're an old subscriber i really really appreciate you so much for subscribing to my channel and thanks for being here today in this um, tutorial i'll be showing you how to make an off shoulder top that has elastic at the shoulder and also at the waist it's also going to have like balloon sleeve with um, elastic at the hem of the sleeves too okay so if you're interested in knowing how to go about this kind of top please make sure you watch till the end it's going to be a fun time together okay all right so to get started the materials we're going to be using for this tutorial are our fabric scissors tape measure chalk rule um, straight ruler curve ruler we're also going to be needing elastic that we're using for the shoulder and the waist region we we'll use the smaller size at the hem of the sleeve i have placed my fabric on fold this is the right side and this is the wrong side but to determine the width of the fold use our bust circumference measurement divided by four whatever we get we're going to multiply it by two the bust circumference measurement is 36 inches divided by four will give me nine inches times two will give me 18 inches then I'll add one inch for side seam allowance. And I'll mark it. Okay, I'll go up as well. Mark 19 inches. I'll connect the points. To get the length of our top, you measure from your shoulder to wherever you want the top to stop. I'll be using 18 inches. Then remember I said at the bottom of the top, we're going to put our elastic. So the casing of this elastic is 1.5 inches plus 18 inches will give a total of 19.5 inches. So I'll mark it here. I'll go to this side as well. Mark 19.5 inches. I'll use my ruler to connect the points. Like I said, we're using a quarter of bust measurement. So I am put my nine inches and mark it. Okay, then I'll take the other nine inches. I'll mark it as well. Okay, so remember this is our side seam allowance, one inch. So I'll do the same for the bottom of the fabric. We are starting from the bottom because I don't want too much waste at the top part. I'll mark, I'll measure nine inches again. Um, I'll connect these two points together. Okay, I'll side seam allowance, then I'll connect these two points together as well. So, the reason why we're adding extra is because we want it to be full, the gathers to have a, a more gathers, but you can make it less if you want the top not to have so much gathers, you just want a little gather. What you can do is you will just add instead of the whole quarter of the bust circumference measurement you can use half of this you can use just four inches or you can use five inches or just three inches the way you want the, the fullness of your top to be okay we're using this part of our fabric this measurement here this part to draft out our top next thing i'm going to do right now is to measure the neck width i'll mark my neck width here then I'll mark my shoulder measurement divided by two. That's 7.5 inches. Then I'll come down by an inch for our shoulder slope. I'll connect the shoulder slope to the neck width. To get our arm hole length is both circumference divided by six plus 1.5. So I'll go down by 7.5 and mark. I'll connect it okay so this is our armhole length and this point has become the chest line so I'll just extend this line okay so this is our chest line now I'm going to make our armhole of so taking half of the armhole length I'll put my mark here I'll go in by three quarters of an inch Remember my bust 
circumference divided by four will give me nine inches a quarter of it so this is where nine inches stop and this is the allowance so i'm going to take the curve all the way to this point here okay so i have the armhole curve right here next thing we're going to do is to take out six inches from the shoulder line so i'll mark six inches here i also go to this end i'll mark it in six inches i use my ruler to connect this that part of our top will be cut out because it's an off shoulder so the off shoulder will start from this new line that we drew here okay to the bottom of the top so now at this we have this armhole you can see it this way then we have this line going all the way here okay now what we're going to do on this line is to add the casing for the elastic that is going to be up here the extra allowance so i'll be using 1.5 inches so i'll mark 1.5 inches up here i'll mark 1.5 inches here as well i'll connect the two points together so we have the casing for the top elastic i'm going to be adding half an inch at the armhole for allowance i'll just use my free hand to do that if you want to use your curve you can go ahead and use your curve we're going to be cutting it out from this point here this way and we're also going to cut it out this way okay so this is what we have right now for the front bodies we'll make the back one as well to cut the back part of the top i cut out about three inches less than what we had originally this is 16 inches for the front we had 19 inches width you can see so i made it less the reason why is because i don't want the back to be puffed like the front to have too much gathers you know because the back there's no bust at the back so that's why i reduced the size a bit we place the front on the back from the side seam all right so you go ahead and cut exactly what you have so we have the front and we have the back to create our sleeves we have to get the total length of the sleeve this total length of the sleeve i'll be using is 20 inches but i'll add about four inches to it to give it room for that puffiness that is going to be at the hem i'll add one inch to case the small size elastic that we we'll use at the hem then i'll add 1.5 inches also for the casing of the elastic at the shoulder so that will be a total of 26.5 so i'll mark 26.5 so here's my 26.5 i'll indicate the 1.5 casing for, for elastic okay i'll do the same thing for the other side as well I'll mark 1.5 here too and i'll join these points together the total width of the hem of the sleeve is 15 inches. Then I'll add 1 inch for the seam allowance. So I'll mark 16 inches right here. I'll measure 16 inches at the top. Then I'll connect them together. For the top of the shoulder, the measurement I will use is 8 inches. So I'll mark my 8 inches here. So I'll connect these 8 inches to 15. Remember I said we're using 15 inches width plus 1 inch allowance. So let me mark the 15 here. So I'll connect these two points together because I want the one at the upper part of the sleeve. I want it a bit smaller in width than the lower part. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to add the 1 inch seam allowance. We have our seam allowance. The next thing is to grab our front bodies. We're going to place it here to cut out the armhole. This is my front bodies. I'll just place it over like this. I'll rest the top. Remember, we have our allowance, the casing of the elastic here. We have it here as well. 
so i'll just place it on this line like so making sure it touches the side allowance here we also added our side seam allowance here then i'll draw my armhole so what we're going to do right now is to cut it out so now we have the front bodies we have the back we also have both sleeves so what we're going to do now is to join the sleeve at, on the allowance line here then for the front bodies we open it up this way we place the back bodies on the front bodies right side facing right side and we join it up from the armhole down to the hem of the top we'll do the same thing for the other side i'm done joining them at the side both the front and back together so this is one side and this is the other side so both sleeves have been joined i'll turn my sleeve the right side out i'll take my front and back bodies i'll grab my sleeve also seam allowance here at the armhole i'll make it face each other at, at that point can you see what i'm doing Okay, so grab your pen, use it to hold it, just like this. I'll join it also at the shoulder. We'll go to the machine and stitch it at the armhole. We're going to stitch it now. So let's begin. So what I'll do now is to measure 1.5 inches. This is the shoulder. Hold it in by 1.5 inches and iron it all round. Then when I do that, I'll also go to the hem and I'll fold it in by 1.5 inches as well and iron it okay i also do the same for the sleeve i'll iron just one inch for the hem of the sleeve okay, okay so i'm done pressing it you can see how it looks like i've taken it in so by the time i'm putting in the elastic it's going to sit inside this way then i'll still fold this one a little bit more to close it up you see so that's what i'm going to do all round this is the hem and this is the shoulder area okay so i'll do the same thing for the shoulder now the measurement we're going to need for the one at the hem what you just do is take your waist measurement or under boss wherever whatever your measurement may be so i'll just subtract about two inches away from 31 inches that would be 29 inches so i'll use 29 inches for the elastic so for the shoulder the elastic at the shoulder what you do is you take your round shoulder measurement for me i have about 39 inches i'll just take away about two inches or three to make it 30 six inches measure 36 inches for the sleeve i'll just measure around my wrist i'll measure six inches i'll measure for both sleeves i'll go to my machine now and case it in at the point where you start just leave a little space about two inches apart the reason is we're going to pass our elastic into that Part. so i'll do that and i'll be right back i'll do the same thing for the one at the hem i'll do the same thing for the one at the hem of the sleeve also 
okay guys so i'm done stitching you can see how it looks like now what we're going to do now is to pass our elastic band through i use my pin to hold it if you have a safety pin you can do it this way just put it in this way can you see So now we reach the other end here. So we are going to pull it out of this side. Can you see? All right. So you remove your safety pin. You take it to your machine, place it on top of each other this way to secure it tight. So you stitch this way. You come down. You stitch this way. Stitch here and stitch here. Okay. This is the final result, guys. I fixed the elastic. At the hem of the sleeve. I've also fixed the one at the hem of the top, the one at the shoulder. Okay, you can see how it's looking. You can see how puffed up the sleeve is, and the gathers in front and, the, and at the back too. It looks so beautiful now. It looks so so beautiful. You can see it. I hope you learned a thing or two from this tutorial please if you enjoyed this tutorial please give me a big thumbs up share to your family and friends leave your comments i'll be so glad to respond to them and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe thank you for staying tuned i'll see you in my next video bye